Hey guys, okay, so first off, um, Facebook and Twitter are linked down below like usual. The second thing is I wanted to say guys, when you start sending me my messages, so I'm kind of like running out of titles. So if you could kind of like, I know it's, it's kind of weird to ask you to think of a title, especially when your letter is all serious and then you like think of a witty title. But if you could, that would help because then when I make these episodes, I don't have to like sit here and think of it. Um, but I can, but it just makes it easier. That's so lazy of me, but hey, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this. Um, I haven't thought of this title, so it will just be up above because I don't have anything to say right now. All right. Hey Nikki, I have a problem that maybe you could help me with. So ever since I was little, I never really had a thing that I always did. All of my family and friends have an activity that they keep consistent, whether it's tennis, basketball, singing, dancing, whatever. I always felt that I would eventually find it. Well, last year I tried out for high school cheerleading and I made it and I really loved doing it and got really close with a lot of the girls. Finally, I thought my, I found my thing, ha ha ha. Well, in the winter there were cuts made and me and my friend got cut off the team. One day we're part of the team and the next day I was just a bystander. I had a really hard time getting over it and it was really tough seeing my teammates doing their thing while I just sat there in the stands thinking that that should be me. Everyone told me to try it again in the fall because there are less seniors and seniors always make it over freshmen. Now, when my family asks how is soccer, how is baseball, they ask me how is cheerleading, I always answer, oh, the season ended and I'm trying it next year. Anyways, sorry about my blabbing. My question is that I'm really stressed out because if I don't make the team in the fall, not only will I be bored, but I won't have any extracurricular activities for call or extracurriculars for college. And I will start getting really sad and depressed again. I am so nervous and I don't know how to calm myself down. So please, please help. Sorry for the long message. Um, first off, I'm going to go ahead and agree with your friend that I do know that seniors will always get kept on the team before freshmen. You know, I'm sorry if you're a senior watching. You're like, that's not always true. But, you know, they are going to have more of a likelihood to be kept on the team. That you're a freshman and you were cheering with them. Um, out here, at least, freshmen don't usually cheer with seniors. Shayna! Okay, anyways, yeah, sorry, I was asking my sister. I don't think they usually cheer in the same team out here. But anyways, um, so that's pretty cool. But you have to remember, and this is going to be really hard to take, and I wish I could give you guys some specific examples, but I kind of can't. It's kind of private. But I've had, let's just, I've had multiple things in my life where you know, there's been a lot of times in my life where I've wanted something so badly and I've worked so hard for it and I just end up being the underdog and I end up not being the one picked and I end up not being, you know, the one on top. Um, that's happened to me a lot in my life and especially more recently, um, I can't get too specific with it, but you know, I told you guys I've danced my entire life. I've danced since I was three, on and off my entire life. But the reason it's been on and off is because I've had multiple injuries. I've dislocated my shoulder, I've fractured my elbows, I've had elbow, I've had water on both my knees, I've sprained my ankles, I've had a knee surgery, I've had a hip surgery. I have had a lot of physical um, problems. So more recently, bas basically I've worked in you know entertainment for the last 10 years of my life and recently my um, job that took me to Singapore, I had to leave early because my body couldn't handle it anymore and I was just I was just at my breaking point and you know I was just like I worked so hard to kick my butt and I was just at my breaking point I was like and my body like I it won't stay together like I have no control over this it just can't handle it but I will say it has actually been and it makes me want to cry thinking about it because that's really hard to admit but it has actually been one of the best things that's ever happened to me because it has pushed me to do some other things in my life that I would not have done if I was still doing that. So that, you know, your answer to your question, um, being, you know, really narcissistic, I spend it back on myself, but is that if this doesn't happen, you have to just have faith and know that it is for a reason and you're going to be moving on to something else. And also, let me just throw into the mix there, you're a freshman, so you gotta remember, you are really young. There's nothing huge that is happening right now in terms of like, oh my gosh, if you don't get this, like your whole life's ruined. But, I do understand the feeling of it because I know what it's like to love something and want something so bad and not be able to do it. I love to dance, guys, and I can't. I can't. I worked out yesterday for an hour and a half and I freaking like pulled a groin muscle because my knee was whacked and I was walking weird and it's just like, I know how you feel and it's 
terribly, terribly frustrating. But like I said, if this doesn't happen, if you don't get on the team, I'd say it's a sign. You know what I mean? That you were cut, you didn't get on the team. Either it's a sign or it's a learning thing. Like you just need to like push past it because that's usually what it is. It's usually one of two things. It's either a sign that that is not where you're supposed to be. And especially a sign, at least for right now, um, and you know, you move on to something else, or it's a sign in terms of like, this is just a point in your life where you need to learn what it's like to work over a mountain. Cause that sometimes happens too. Like life, not everything just comes to you the first time you try it. You know what I mean? And I know looking around, it feels like it does like, oh, everyone else has clear skin. Everyone else is on the team. Everyone else did this, everyone else did that, but they have their own mountains that they're struggling with. You know, they may be struggling with something at home that you'll never see behind closed doors because you don't live with them. You don't, you know, you don't know, but everyone has mountains to get over everyone. So, um, yeah, something will happen. And in the meanwhile, just keep trying to find things you love. Like, cheer is pretty close to dance. Like, do you like to dance? I don't know. Do, do you like any other sports? Try to find something that you love to do, you know? Um, and yeah, start looking, start figuring it out. Um, and just practice and work hard for this audition. Is that what you call it? Try out. Sorry, my brain is in acting world. Auditions. Um, rehearsals. Uh, so yeah, just get your game, your head in the game, and your body ready for the tryouts, and yeah. So that is the best advice we can give you. Everything will be fine. If it doesn't happen, you're okay. Just remind yourself, you're a freshman. It's not the end of the world. Everything will be fine. If it doesn't happen, you're supposed to be doing something else right now. And just keep working hard towards it if that's what you want. So yeah. All right, guys, send your messages here to this inbox on YouTube with a creative title, and I will see you next time. Oh, links are down below. Bye.